हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल है गुड आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग इट फॉर द सेकंड टाइम आई रिकॉर्डेड अ ब्लैंक स्क्रीन लास्ट टाइम सो इट हैज बीन आस्क बाय गूगल इट सिंपली सेज मिनिमम डिफरेंस बिटवीन लार्जेस्ट एंड स्मॉलेस्ट इन थ्री मूव्स नाउ इट सिंपली मेंशंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू इंटीजर अरे नंबर्स एंड इन वन मूव आई कैन चूज वन एलिमेंट एंड मेक इट इक्वल टू एनी अदर वैल्यू now i have to find minimum difference between the largest and the smallest value and i can remove the, i can have three moves and in every move i will i can change any value but ultimately i will have to always keep on checking what is the largest what is the smallest and what is their difference now the first very basic hint which we could have got by reading this statement is we have to find the largest we have to find the smallest what is that algorithm or data structure which will help us find that for sure sorting that if we can sort it it will be very easy take the end take the start find the difference and we have to minimize that difference which means that again other way could have been we can use a priority queue or a max heap or a min heap max heap will have given us the largest element min heap will have given us the smallest element now now comes the case that if let's say i know that i can simply sort it 2 3 4 and 5 now my task is the current difference is my 3 to reduce my difference because i have to minimize my difference to reduce my difference i have to either decrease my 5 or i have to increase my 2 if i decrease my 5 then okay for sure i will change because i can change that value of 5 now change it to what is the question now you will say are in Ah, uh, four is there, so let's put it to four. Okay, but next time the difference is now two. Again, you can either reduce your four or increase your two. So you might say, "Are in reduce your four," but four you had already one more, so still the difference will be still be two. So it was not a good thing to change that value to a value four. So right now, let's say I change to something, but I don't know what. I don't know what. Okay, again I change to something, I don't know what. I change to something, I don't know what. now ultimately my all three operations are done technically if i have this array i have only two remaining i can put all these values as two thus making a difference of any value any 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 two values as zero thus i could i will be able to achieve my answer as zero now with this thing we realize that rn did one thing rn went from the end and removed the elements Three elements and that too feels good. Uh, that he will try to remove three elements from the end. So let's repeat the same thing from here with here on here. So zero, one, five, ten, and fourteen. Again, I will remove the last three elements. I remove the last three elements. Last three elements because they are the maximum elements. Oh, I received the diff as one. That is the answer. Walla, Arun, you are right. Uh, you missed one thing. Like is it always required? Because if in the very beginning you must have seen when I was mentioning I had five elements, I was saying okay this is the smallest element, this is the this is the largest element zero one, ah uh, it was five ten and fourteen. So either I can reduce my fourteen or I can increase my zero. But R N it feels evident I I just have to remove one side. What what if if I take the same example? But in this case, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and forty-one. In this case, it would have been much, much, much better if you would have removed the starting three elements. Then you would have achieved this two, which have a difference of one. Same way, you can repeat it. What if this portion is in between? What if thirty and thirty-one is here, and then forty is here, and then ten and twenty is here? So it is very evident that you should remove. You should remove with these two. You should remove these two and this last one so that this comes out as a diff. Thus, you realized you had three options to remove. Now, we saw it can be last three, it can be starting three, it can be starting two, then last one. It can be, it can be starting one, last two also. Thus, we have to go and try all these four variations and see which one gives us the minimum answer. So, what we realized. If I have an array of let's say very big size, I'm only concerned about again. If I just say it is a zero, it is a one, it is a two, it is let's say a three, it is a zero, a one, a two, and a three. And same way from the end, it will be a. Let's say it will be a n minus one, 
it will be a n minus 2 and it will be a n minus 3 and it will be a n minus 4. Now, R and why did you put a n minus 4 and stuff? Remember, we had sorted the array. If I remove these elements, then the difference will be a n minus 1 minus a 3. What if I remove the, I remove only two elements and one element from the end because I will have to minimize my answer. But R and what if the array size is not even 3 or 4? Oh, yes. So, one thing we had already seen when the first example is that if the array size is less than equal to 4, answer is always a 0. So, I will handle that case separately. If the array size is less than equal to 4, answer is always a 0. Thus, we saw, okay, if I had 2 here, 1 here, okay, the difference will be a n minus 2 minus a 2. Okay, same way, 1 here, 2 here, a n minus 3, a minus a 1. Same way, nothing here and all 3 here, difference will be a n minus 4 minus a 0. Thus, I only kept track of these starting four and ending four elements which gave me my answer let's see the code is exactly same firstly i had that condition if my error size is less than equal to four simply re return a zero now now task is to sort it so as to apply that and finding the actual elements which will give that diff then return that minimum diff okay then i as i showed you four cases exact same four cases try for all these four cases and then out of these four cases, you will get your minimum answer. Why only these four? Because you have to have to remove either the smallest element or the largest element so as to achieve your minimum difference because the difference is given by these small and large elements only. Now, you must see that this looks good and the time complexity will be O of n log n because of Q data sorting space. It could have been O of log n because of the sorting space being used, but you are modifying the input array which is being used, thus the space will be O of n itself. Now, in the very beginning, we saw one thing that our task was to find the minimum element and the maximum element. For that case, we realized we also have a data structure called as a priority key or a min heap or a max heap. As in heap, we have. So, we can maybe use that heap, but I mean, what is the advantage? Still, my complexity will be in log terms, n log terms. This is the difference. When you sort it, every, all the n elements things are inside your data structure. But if you use a priority queue, then you know that you only have to grab the maximum four elements and the minimum four elements. Thus, you only need to keep track inside your heap, just four elements, just four elements. And that's it. Thus, the next thing which we could have seen is that let's use heap just to keep track of the four elements. So, I will use one as my max heap, other as my main heap. So, what this will do is this will keep track of your, again, a quick question for you is what this will do versus what this will do. What this will keep track of? It is named as a max heap, but it will keep track minimum four elements. Why? Because the property of max heap is remove the maximum element. Now, if I am storing some element, if I remove the maximum element, what ultimately I will be having in the end? Minimum elements. That is the reason in the max heap, I will be having my minimum elements. In my min heap, ultimately I will be having my maximum elements. Let's see with the example. Again, we know that we have to grab four elements. So, for sure, I will keep track of four elements in my heap, both the heaps. So, okay, one will come here, five will come here, zero will come here, ten will come here. Next time when fourteen will come, again, it's a max heap. Array size has become, sorry, heap size has become more than four. So, you have to remove one element. You will remove the max element only because max heap can only remove the maximum element. Now, you are remaining with, again, as the array has ended, now you are remaining with the minimum of four elements but remember your main aim was the sorted array or to be more precise starting four elements needs to be sorted so if i want to achieve again if i just sort this array it will look something like 0 1 5 10 and 14 i need to get the starting four sorted elements and ending four sorted elements so starting four sorted elements will be given by this maxi but i have to put those elements in the order also because I was performing this task, right? I was performing this operation. 
so when i will put these elements so what 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 will happen you will remove 10 from the maximum put it here remove 5 from the maxi put it here again you see i am removing the maximum element from the maxi itself then 1 and then 0 so you see let's put it indexing as 0 1 l is left index 2 and 3 so i realized my max he will contain four elements obviously for sure because we ha i have already handled the case of if the size if the size is less than or equal to four i have already handled the handled that case so i will for sure have four elements which will be inside of maxi thus i will start putting the elements from the end which means l equal to three and then reduce my l same way what about the min heap again put the 14 also in the very end then remove as the array size as the heap size has become more than four to remove the minimum element sorry it is zero remove it now start placing your elements from what index you remembered it is a of n minus one it is a of n minus two it is a of n minus three it is a of n minus four so from r is equals to n minus four i should start placing my i should start placing my actual values so i will start place my firstly min heap i'll place my one here then 5 here then 10 here and then 14 here thus voila you have achieved started four sorted values ending four sorted values and then up you can apply the same formula which you saw which is this one let's see the code so i firstly did a simple base check that if my array size is less than equal to 4 answer is always a 0 then call a minimum function via priority queue this function will simply go and make a max heap and a min heap max heap will store the minimum four elements min heap will store the maximum four elements i will simply iterate on all the elements push the elements in my heap both max and min heap if the array size becomes more than four i have to remove i will remove the top elements max heap will remove the maximum element min heap will remove the minimum element ultimately by this end i will have four four elements in my both max heap and min heap so until my heap is empty again both heap will exactly have four elements so you can also have a for loop of size four now you will simply have a check that remove the element from the top of your max heap l equal to three and put it here then reduce your l then reduce your l and remove from the max heap so as to grab the next maximum element next time same way repeat the process for your r grab it put it at your index n minus four n minus four n minus 4 and then increase your r ultimately by this what you have done although you will say aryan you are modifying the input array yes i am modifying but there is simple optimization for it that you only need the starting for and ending for elements and you also have grabbed those elements so put those starting four elements and ending four elements into another array of size 8 and then use that array but so as to just simplify the code and reuse the same code i just modified my input array but you know the space can be optimized although i am modifying the input array so a space of o of n will be used but i can get rid of that space and instead use a space of o of 8 only so i will again just go and call my minimum diff, minimum diff function which will simply go and call my nums simply go and call my nums and thus get it will get my answer now as I simply used my priority queue, my time compressor will be O of n log k. Now, k is just of size 4, log of 4. It is a very small value. Thus, I will be getting my time as O of n ultimately. Now, space, although for sure, my priority queue will take a space of O of log k. Now, currently in this case also, as I am modifying the input array, I have taken a space of O of n. You can simply make another array and then use a space of O of 8, which is the constant space, thus making the entire space as constant only. Cool. I hope you guys got it. If yes, then do smash the like button. It helps motivate a lot. We had an aim of 45k likes. Oops, sorry. So please, it will be very helpful if you can sub that and share the friends. Do you on Discord and check me on LinkedIn. Bye-bye. Take care.